Hi, I'm Dr. David Cavazos, chiropractic physician, licensed in the state of Illinois. Today we are going to go over some back exercises, some back stretchings, and back strengthening, including some core strengthening exercises. Uh, the first exercise uh, that we're going to do is it's just we're going to bend over the ball and we're kind of like hugging the ball and, and what that does is it opens up the inner space, it opens up any type of nerve root entrapment, any type of discopathia. Uh, it's an excellent alleviation in um, low back uh, problems and it's also excellent for stretching the low back. Uh, you should do it two times, two sets of uh, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Second, we'll go one more set of 10 seconds. Okay, the second series of stretching of the low back, you have to be very careful if you have any type of disc herniation, any type of um, low back problems. Uh, if it does cause any discomfort, you should just continue. And before any of these uh, stretches or exercises, always consult a chiropractic physician or a medical physician. The third series of uh, exercises consists of range of motion and strengthening of the core, basically uh, the low back, the glutes, and the abdominal muscles. Uh, we're going to do three sets of ten. Uh, once you achieve three sets of ten, you can always increase in increments of five, three sets of fifteen, three sets of twenty, etc. You want to stabilize on the ball first thing and what I do is I kind of like sit at the end of the ball and the easiest way is you just come back and you reach forward to the ceiling and as you become more advanced in these exercises and you become stronger you can do these exercises with one leg and you can alternate. But for the purpose of this video, I am sticking to the basic type of exercises. In the fourth series of exercises, these are hyperextension exercises of the low back, which strengthens the low back, and they are very good exercises for low back problems. And once again, if it does cause pain, because we are putting a little pressure to the spine, you should just continue and check with your physician. You want to stabilize your pelvis right onto the ball. And what we're doing here is hyperextending the back. And you're contracting your paraspinal muscles, your quadratus laborum, your gluteus, even your quads, and your abdominal muscles. You're in these type of exercises for the strengthening process of the body. The beautiful thing about the body is that no matter what age you are, muscles can get stronger. So at any age, you could type, you could start these type of exercises.
the last series of exercises that we're doing for today are our obliques, transverse abdominis and obliques. And what you do is, you do the left side, you stabilize. This is the easiest way. You want your knee folded in here. You want to get your pelvis up on the ball, and you keep this leg straight. And you will contract, you will feel it right here in your obliques. And you just contract everything. Once again, you contract your gluteals, you contract your rectus abdominis, and your transverse abdominis, and your obliques. And always you want to do three sets of 10. Uh, if you have problems starting with three sets of 10, you want to go three sets of five. For the purpose of this illustration, I may not do all the sets. It's just educational in purpose, so you can do these type of exercises at your home. That is the finish of the left side, and then we'll go over to the right side. And we'll work the right side obliques. That concludes my series of back stretches and exercises on the instability ball. If there's any questions or concerns, you can contact me at 630-690-1000. And thank you everyone for having a ball on the instability ball and enjoy your postural exercises.